In more harder core genres of electronic music, a lot of distortion is used to make the sound sound more, well, dangerous or distorted. Uh, Fruity Loops has very easy methods of using distortion, and also I'll show you some extra plugins you can use to do better distortion. To do this, I'm actually going to use a guitar sound font, which is basically a collection of recorded samples from a guitar. I'm going to put it in an affected channel, and I'm going to use the basic Fruity distortion. It's called the Fruity Fast Dist. It's pretty distorted. It's right out there. It doesn't really sound much like a distorted guitar, though. What it does is really is just put square waves where there were sine waves and make it really rough. Um, there, there are modules out there you can find on the internet, and one of them I have is, is actually an emulation of a JCM 900 Marshall amp. Sounds much better, doesn't it? You can put up the drive. You can actually put the next channel to up the drive even higher. And now it actually starts to sound like a guitar. Because really when you listen to a guitar, an electric guitar in a rock band, you're not hearing the guitar, you're hearing the amp. And this happens to be a very good amp. Uh, you can find this by Googling th that name, or you can Google... Uh, Guitar Suite, and you'll find something like that. 